you know, I was proud of my guys. We battled. Uh, I think we showed everyone what we're made of. And didn't play very well offensively. A lot of that is because of their defense. But, you know, to be down eight at the end of eight timeout, I would have taken it. We just couldn't get consecutive stops back together. and Couldn't keep them off the offensive glass. But I think we showed a lot of heart, and everyone could see how hard we play. If you have questions, uh, please raise your hand. We'll get the microphone to you. Coach, you said yesterday that uh, it was gonna, you'd have to out-scrap them. How much do you think the game was a scrap, a contest about it, scrapping? It was. You know, I, want, I challenged my guys. You know, we had to be first to the floor. We had to get the 50-50 balls. We had to gang rebound. I think we did two of the three. You know, we couldn't keep them off the glass. You know, that's their strength. That's our weakness. But I think you saw when we were on that run late in the, in the second half, guys diving out of bounds, guys playing for each other. That's what I told them. I said, don't make this about yourself. Make this about the team. If you focus on making this about the team, we're, we're going to win a lot of ball games. So, very proud of their effort. Very proud of the way they kept coming back. Um, just didn't happen tonight offensively. Dan, not exactly a, a game question over here. Can you talk a little bit about asking Van Florence to come down here tonight and have him walk out with you like he did? Yeah, I mean, again, this is, goes back to my time here. It was so special, and a lot of those memories were with Mr. Kitely and, and his guys. And, Van Florence and Bobby Wiggins meant, meant a lot to me personally. Um, you know, I wanted the closest thing to Mr. Kitely with me, and I'm still very close to Van as he is you know, with, with, when he was with Mr. Kitely. So it meant a lot. You know, he's not doing very well at all. He's very, very sick, so everyone really needs to keep him in his prayers. But he, he, you know, he didn't want to miss it, and it meant a lot to me, and I'm sure it meant a lot to him. Coach, you're right. Were there jitters early, did you think? And if so, how did you settle your guys down? Because they looked like a different team after the first time out. Yeah, uh, of course. It's human nature. You know, you, you, you can say what you want. You know, we, I we watched pep talks and speeches and rally on you know, all these guys. They were excited to play, but I knew once you go out there and you see this animal that is playing out here, um, you know, it's going to be tough. But they settled down. They played well. Uh, you know, the difference in the game, right? you know, it was a four, five, point, five point game at the end of four timeout. And then the 12 0 run just killed us in the second half, uh, in the first half. But, you know, we weren't at it. Like I said, we came back in the second half and, and took their best punch and kept swinging. How much, how much grit and fight did you see in Kentucky versus maybe what you saw in film with the UCLA? Yeah, I think, I think they got Coach Cal, got their attention over the past couple of days. Um, you know, they're, they're a tough team. You know, I think going out the West Coast is a little bit of a lax. Um, we give them credit. I think they get back to basics. They know their strengths. They have 58 points in the paint. You know, we talked about it. Keep them out of the paint. Keep them out of the paint. We just couldn't do it. Um, and when you give a team like that 18 offensive rebounds, and then they always capitalize on it. That's the thing. They make you pay. You know, you get an offensive rebound, they're always going to cash in on it. So um, they're a good basketball team. I, I, they're not even close to reaching their ceiling right now. They're really not. So give them a lot of credit. Coach, you got off that great start in the first few minutes of the second half and the real picked up that fourth foul. How much did that just take the offense? Yeah, it was tough. You know, when you look at it, he's our leading scorer, and, and he was hampered with foul trouble. Having the fourth one, um, I had to sit him for six, seven minutes. And when you do that, you know, we become easier to guard offensively. And he just couldn't get into a rhythm all night. So, yeah, picking up that fourth was big, but, you know, it was on a, it was on a second chance shot that he didn't block out. So he's got to learn from that. Javante took kind of the beating there late in the second half. With a tough road schedule coming up before you get into OVC play, is injuries going to start to become kind of an increasing concern for you? I hope not, you know, but when you play as hard as we do, it's going to happen. I mean, the, I still haven't seen the play. They called the foul on him, and he looks like you know, he went 12 rounds of Mike Tyson. Fouls on him, so I got to see it. I'm sure it was. The refs did a great job. They really did. Uh, so, yeah, you know what? Uh, we got to rest our guys a little bit tomorrow in the middle of finals, but we got to get pick ourselves back up the mat and we're going to play at Marshall. Another tough road test coming up. Don't you guys you said the other day that three-point shooting is a staple. Yeah. You didn't shoot it well today. What was going on? There? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is their length. Their length really bothered us. We didn't get any clean looks. Um, and it was just one of those things where you, know, you, you go and, and you shoot the ball great and walk through today. And we didn't miss a shot and walk through. And then our guys see the 21,000 people in the stands, and that definitely has something to do with it. But we're a lot better offensively than we showed tonight, and a lot of that was because they took us out of our stuff. Coach, on your right, it, it's a long season, but how much can you draw on this game in terms of teaching moments, stuff like that, through the rest of the season? You know, I think the biggest thing is, you know, we started to go one on five with about four or five minutes to go in the game, and we didn't need to. These guys got to learn to trust their teammates, and that's what they have to learn from this. You know, I, their effort was outstanding. 
I thought they played great. And to keep coming back the way they did showed me a lot about this team. But we've got to be able to watch the film and understand if we can continue to trust our teammates instead of driving into the trees and getting swatted all the time, then we'll become a better team. But we're a very close team on and off the court. You know, they'll learn from it. Kentucky doesn't always know what it's going to get from Alex Poitras, but when he is what he was tonight, you know, what, what can they be? I mean, he was, he was a difference maker. I mean, 21 points, 13 rebounds, 6 offensive. He is a, you know, he's, he's a pro when he wants to be. You know, when that motor clicks and he starts playing it at the speed he played at tonight, he's very tough to guard because, you know, he's jumping off trampolines and just finishing with traffic. I mean, he's, he's a special, special player. Time for a couple more. Anyone else? Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.